ask you what a Bible is, what would you tell me? The Bible is God's word to us. It is the most important book in the world. But did you know there are some people who have never even seen a Bible? This week, we're going to learn about some people who had never heard of the Bible. In fact, they had never even seen a book, any book. These people called themselves the Waldani, which means the people. Can you say their name with me? Here we go. Waldani. All right, good job. They live in the rainforest of Ecuador, a country in South America. At the time of our story, the Wadani didn't have books, phones, video games, TV, or lots of other things that you and I use every day. But the Wadani children had wonderful pets to play with, like beautiful parrots. and monkeys. They also played fun games. One of the Wadani was a little girl named Dayuma. She loved playing in the river. Come on, she would shout to her friends. Let's see who can hold their breath and stay underwater the longest. Can you pretend to swim underwater and hold your breath for five seconds? Ooh, okay, I'll count for us. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Whew. Wow, that's hard. Dayuma also really enjoyed playing and sliding in the mud. She spent most of her time playing in and exploring the jungle. Sometimes she watched her father hunt for birds or monkeys to eat. What? Monkeys to eat? Monkey meat? That might not sound very good to you, but it was one of Dayuma's favorite foods. Do you have a favorite food? Maybe pizza or spaghetti or hamburgers? Yum, I like all of those things. Dayuma's family lived in a big hut with some other families. The Wadani didn't have chairs or beds, tables, carpet, or even bedrooms, but they made hammocks and used them as beds to sleep on or chairs to sit in while they cooked their food on a fire. They didn't have furniture or electricity or even stores where they could buy what they needed. But they were very smart and they had learned to get almost everything they needed from the jungle. They knew how to make their own houses and hammocks and tools. They knew which jungle plants were safe to eat and which ones were poisonous. They were also very good at following the tracks of animals or people in the jungle. Dayuma learned lots of things from her family, but she still had more questions. Sometimes she asked her grandpa questions about God. God made the world and the people, he told her. After God made everything, he went up into the sky and he's never coming back. Dioma thought it was sad that God would never come back. Sometimes she asked questions about God that no one could answer. The Wadani didn't know that God gave the Bible to people so they could know about him. They'd never heard about the Bible or God's son Jesus who came to save people from sin. Do you think Dayuma will be able to find someone who can answer her questions? If you wanna find out, you'll have to come back next time.